I'm Isabel from the upcoming. Lovely to speak to you guys today. Congratulations on a fantastic series. I really enjoyed it. Okay. Thank you. How many have you seen? Yeah, we always want to know how many you've seen. <laughs> so I made it to the fifth episode. Oh, great, great, great. Five is good. Five's a good one. Yes. Yeah. I was like, I hope I don't miss an amazing, uh, you know, finale at the end. Um, so if you could start kind of telling us about the collaborative process and and bringing this to screen and and working all together on this. <laughs> well, you're right, a collaborative process that certainly was. You've got a single author with a book, and then, you know, transferring it to the screen, you suddenly have hundreds of people, hundreds of cast, hundreds of crew, many producers, um, a lot of locations, thousands of people in total worked on this. But everyone had the mission of making sure that the, the message of this book was realised in the most entertaining way. Um, and we had a sense of humour throughout, didn't we? It was a challenging time, but we all had to work together, particularly through COVID. We were working together on the screen, on Zoom, most of the time. Um, but we all just, you know, held, held firm to the faith in the project. And what about the casting process? I mean, how was that for you guys, getting Tony Collette on board, John? I mean, amazing cast. Yeah, it's such a mix, I think, of people that you just know you love already and people hopefully you'll discover that you love that we found in schools and theatre groups and some of them unknown, some of them up-and-coming actors, but it's a really incredible ensemble cast and they're so brilliant together. And what do you think are some of the key themes that come out of this series and that you want viewers to kind of tap into? Um, well, it's so provocative, isn't it? I mean, you think a world ruled by women will be kinder, uh, fairer, more equal, and yet the book takes it further than that and asks some very difficult questions about what power um, does to anybody in those positions. And um, I think it's a really provocative and fun and exciting, thought-provoking story. There's a few examples, actually. If you think about the reversals, which is what we called them in the development process, where there's a scene where Tunde, who's our young man, who effectively becomes a young woman in our story because there's the reversal, gets onto a bus full of women, and the power has come, and they're quite, it's in quite a frightening part of the world. There's a war going on, and he gets on this bus, and he looks around at this group of women, and he thinks, I can't get on this bus, I'm in danger here, and he has to get off again. And I think scenes like that, that sort of reversal, are really crucial in making you look at your own life and thinking, God, why can't I get on a bus? a woman, a, you know, a group of men or a group of builders or whoever it may be. And I think it's really smart in the way it makes you just think about your daily life in the position we all find ourselves in. Well, thank you very much for speaking to me. Enjoy your evening. Thank you.